You see them zipping around the Midwest all around us in Omaha and Kansas City. But are people in Des Moines ready to jump on board? Great idea. I mean, another way to get around, get around faster. So not a whole lot of health benefit to it since you're just scooting, but nice alternative on a cold day. My daughter lives down in Kansas City right now and they have the mayor and she says she hates them. She's like, they're always in the way. They're, you know, people just leave them random spots. And so she's not a fan. Something you would use? Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. The dogs are gonna think it's a loose animal and they're gonna go chasing after it. Jim Hammond is a bicyclist with safety concerns about a motorized scooter traveling 15 to 25 miles per hour. I've seen all the footage of different cities and they go ripping down the streets. In Omaha, one woman was hit by a car after scooting through a stop sign. Speed is one concern, just uh, where they can travel, like, like we were talking about, um, whether that be on the road or, or a sidewalk. The Metro Planning Organization is proceeding slowly to learn what works best in other cities. DART believes it would benefit bus riders. All the companies would have a designated zone with which they could be ridden, and then they all have different policies as to where you can leave the scooter when you're done. Seven companies have interest here, with most you rent e-scooters in a designated area with a credit card through an app on your cell phone. It does require a little bit of balance. Um, it can be challenging because the wheel's smaller too than a, than a bicycle that you might be used to, and so you definitely want to watch out for any potholes. 